That's uh, M1 DLS, Jake 2. Um, there's not much happening on 20 meters today, so I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration on the SCR switch. I'll just check it's in view yet yeah. um, with the FT. So the signal comes out of the radio into the SD and into the antenna when it's on this mode. The signal comes into the box, into the radio and the RTL SDR in this mode. When I key up, it goes into TX mode. As you can see, there's nothing on um, on the band there, so I'm not interrupting anyone. Uh, and there you go, one, two, one, two. Uh, mic one, Delta Lima Sierra, this is frequency clear. As you can see, um, it switches off. The RTL SDR is literally just underneath it. Absolutely no damage. I've had that for a year now, and, I, and it's still working fine. It just means you've got full pan adapter and you can use one antenna. Let's see if we can get in. <coughs> uh, QSB safe. Oh. Delta Oscar. No. Oh. Oh, there's one just popped up there. See how handy this part of that now is. The biggest buzz I get now with the panel that now is I see a signal like that and the best thing is is this frequency clear? So you're waiting for him to do his test. And uh, you, you come and you get them first. The panel that you can pound some people. It's a great thing. You can do antenna tests as well. That's me dipole. That's me um, vertical. That's the ampro dipole. I'll just scroll somewhere else. Uh, one, two, one, two. It definitely works better with the PTT. If you use RF sensing, you have to drive about 15 watts and start talking on SSB. Obviously, the power, because if it goes below 15, it just it'll flicker and it'll do your head in. So it's much better to do it with the, with the PTT option. The comes the kit comes with all the cables that you need, including the SDR cable. Uh, so 73, same one DLS, the homebrew, have the same. Bye bye.